So you do not want to risk your vision. Joining us now in the conversation, Dr. David Cockrell, the past president of the American Optometric Association, because Dr. Cockrell, you've seen a lot of horror stories of people wearing ill-fitting contact lenses, or in this case, lenses Leslie found that were contaminated. Tell us about that. I have, you know, in our practice in Stillwater, we certainly have many patients that have been harmed by the improper use of contact lenses, and in many cases because of counterfeit contact lenses. I've got a group of teenage young ladies, six of them, that all purchased contact lenses on the internet. They were actually manufactured in China, we think, and they were cosmetic contact lenses designed to change the eye color and create a difference in impression. All six of them got an infection, not from the same lens, but from the same type of lens that they purchased from the same website. You know, it's really a, a wild west for contact lenses on the internet. I've had the opportunity to testify recently before the United States Senate on problems that occur due to contact lenses that are either A, sold as the wrong type of lens or improperly worn. I want to stress, I want to start to begin with, just like you did, by saying contact lenses are great devices. They're very safe. Everyone should take advantage of them when they're from an appropriate manufacturer and they're fit by a physician like Dr. Bryan or other physicians. You know, I've got patients, as he said, that have literally lost their vision in a one-time occurrence. They put a contact lens on, wore it overnight one night, wound up with a severe corneal ulcer leading to a corneal transplant. Those are worst-case scenarios, but they actually occur, and they occur more than you would think they would. So, Dr. Cockrell, I know there is a Fairness to Contact Lens Consumer Act that was enacted. Tell us how that changed the landscape for this type of Wild West. Uh, I think the intent behind the Fairness of Contact Lens Consumer Act was great. What it did was make available to all patients the opportunity to go buy their contact lenses any place they want to, whether it's from a brick and mortar store or from an online store. So right now, at one time, there were maybe 80, 90 percent of contact lenses that were purchased from their provider. Now it's over 50 percent that are purchased from some, some source other than their provider. Well, when you go to the online situation, we have two federal agencies that are really in charge of this. We have the FTC and the FDA. The FDA looks after patients' health. They look for harm to patients. The FTC is really a, it's a trade organization, Federal Trade Commission. Their concern, and they've told me this personally, is not harm to the patient. It is something being done that's misadvertised or falsely advertised. So the problem we've got is we've got two major federal agencies, but neither, they don't come together, they don't work together, and so the patients are put at risk because they do exactly like you described. They get online expecting everyone to be an honest broker of the contact lenses and supply what's um, indicated on the package when frequently it's not. And it sounds to me like nobody is truly getting reprimanded for selling these counterfeits. Uh, oh, gosh, you're exactly right. In the last five or six years, there's been maybe a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of fees by the FTC, almost none. Often what happens is, as uh, Leslie said, uh, uh, maybe a local agency that goes in to investigate. In some states, it's the state agency that goes in. So there's really not a lot of enforcement, and the patients are left to fend for themselves. I would not buy lenses from a website that doesn't ask for a prescription from your doctor and verifies that prescription, right, Dr. David? That's exactly right. You know, as part of the Fairness to Contact Lens Consumer Act, the online seller literally has to request a prescription, if you don't provide it, from the provider that, pr that prescribed those lenses. And once they have that, you know they're at least going to follow that. There are, unfortunately, also some truly unscrupulous sellers who will take a prescription from a provider and then call you and say, well, we don't have that lens, but we have another one that's almost the same. Well, there isn't a contact lens that's almost the same. There are generic medications, as we all know, but there are no generic contact lenses. In my testimony to the U.S. Senate, I demonstrated all the different myriad of ways that contact lenses differ from company to company removing the idea that there is such a thing as a generic contact lens. So I think what you've, she said is right. You've got to go to a, a seller that demonstrates they've got the prescription from the provider, that it's a current prescription, that you know that lens has been evaluated by the provider.